Scientists and space organizations are continuously working to save us from any catastrophe from above, like asteroids or even the harmful rays. They are searching for other Earth-like planets, and the billionaire Elon Musk is even working on making a second home for us on Mars, so when Earth is destroyed, we can have some other place to live on. But there is one thing that these scientists and the likes of NASA can not protect us from, and that is the end of our universe. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about the truth that might be the end of us. According to some estimates, the universe and all we know will cease to exist in 22 billion years, but other scientists think that it has reached the end of its life cycle and only has 2.8 billion years left, putting it in the final eighth of its lifespan. However, one thing that most scientists do agree on is that the universe will eventually die. Along with the when, there's also the how, with various theories circulating concerning the universe's unavoidable end. These theories consist of the big rip, the big crunch, and the big bounce, heat death, and the big slurp. Of all these theories, the big slurp is the more recent theory that has come to light. It is about the elusive Higgs boson, which has been eluding scientists for years. After the discovery of a Higgs-like particle in 2012, which is supposed to give everything mass and potentially indicate the cosmos is at an unstable condition, the Big Slurp was born. The existence of mass in the universe is explained by the boson, but put in another way, it supports the functioning of everything matter we perceive around us. If it's in an unstable state, it could tip over in billions of years, allowing a bubble to arise from another universe. The bubble will rapidly expand, obliterating everything in its path and paving the way for a new cosmos. Dr. Joseph Lichen, the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory Therosian said, it turns out there's a calculation you can do in our standard model of particle physics, once you know the mass of the Higgs boson. If you use all the physics we now know, and you do this straightforward calculation, it's bad news. What happens is, you get just a quantum fluctuation that makes a tiny bubble of the vacuum the universe really wants to be in. And because it's a lower energy state, this bubble will then expand, basically at the speed of light, and sweep through everything before it. The universe wants to be in a different state, so eventually to realize that, a little bubble of what you might think of as an alternate universe will appear somewhere, and it will spread out and destroy us. Let's just put it simply. The Higgs boson was proposed in 1964 by Peter Higgs, Francois Engelhardt, and four other theorists to explain why certain particles have mass. Mass can be thought of as an object's weight, or more precisely, as its resistance to having its motion changed. To increase the speed of a freight train, or a feather, push on it, and the resistance you feel indicates its mass. The mass of the freight train is derived from its constituent molecules and atoms, which are made up of fundamental particles such as electrons and quarks. But where do these and other fundamental particles get their mass? When physicists used quantum physics equations to simulate the behavior of these particles in the 1960s, they ran into a problem. Each term in the equations clicked into perfectly symmetric pattern, like the tip of a perfect snowflake, if they imagined the particles were all massless. This symmetry was not only mathematically beautiful, but it was also visually appealing. It explained the patterns that were visible in the experimental results. However, scientists were aware that the particles did have mass, and when they changed the equation to account for this, the mathematical harmony was ruined. The equations became more complicated, unwildly, and inconsistent. Higgs's suggestion is as follows. Don't force the masses of the particles down the equation's throat. Instead, keep the equations clean and symmetrical while imagining them operating in a strange setting. Assume that all the space is equally filled with an invisible substance, now known as the Higgs field, that causes particles to accelerate through it. According to Higgs, if you push on a fundamental particle in an attempt to enhance its speed, you will feel resistance from the drag force. 
So the Higgs boson is a fundamental particle linked to the Higgs field, which impacts mass to other fundamental particles like electrons and quarks. When a particle encounters a force, its mass dictates how much it resists changing its speed or position. Scientists confirmed its existence in 2012 through the ATLAS and CMS experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN in Switzerland. This discovery led to the 2013 Nobel Prize in Physics being awarded to Higgs and Engler. Now the question is, how is this going to be the end of us all? The bad news is that if the Higgs-like particle identified in the long-awaited Higgs boson, its mass predicts the universe would end in a fast-spreading bubble of doom. But as we said at the start, it will probably be billions of years before that particular doomsday arrives. So far, the particle discovered at the LHC appears to meet all of the criteria for the Higgs boson. But scientists aren't ready to certify that it is in fact the Higgs boson. It could be the first of several particles participating in the process, for instance. Christopher Hill, a physicist at Ohio State University, who is also deputy physics coordinator for the LHC's compact moon solenoid experiment said, the door is still very much open, that there's another particle that has a role to play, or even more than that. Lichen claims that the parameters of our world, such as the Higgs's mass and the mass of another subatomic particle known as the top quark, indicate that we are on the verge of becoming metastable. For more over 30 years, physicists have considered such a possibility. Back in 1982, physicist Michael Turner and Frank Wilczek wrote in Nature that, without warning, a bubble of true vacuum could nucleate somewhere in the universe and move outwards at the speed of light, and before we realized what swept by us, our protons would decay away. Lichen put it slightly different. The universe wants to be in a different state, so eventually to realize that, a little bubble of what you might think of as an alternate universe will appear somewhere, and it will spread out and destroy us. As most of you recall, the media made a huge deal out of the Higgs boson particle, which is a significant deal. Not only is the elusive particle partly responsible for providing mass to some fundamental particles, which endangers humans and all of our physical reality, but it also offered one of the final puzzle pieces of particle physics standard model. However, there are still unanswered questions, such as determining the true mass of the particle discovered at the Large Hadron Collider. Finally, the mass of the Higgs boson is significant because it influences our universe's final state, whether it's the big bounce, the big freeze, the big rip, or the big slurp. The world of particle physics has been thrown into a loop since the revelation, as identifying this particle would have serious ramifications for other elements of quantum mechanics. One of the reports reveals something sinister. If the Higgs boson really does exist at the right mass, our cosmos could be in big trouble. At least, that's how Lichen sees it. Scientists are investigating the Higgs boson's properties to see if they fit the predictions of the standard model of particle physics. If the Higgs boson deviates from the model, it could lead to new scientific discoveries by revealing new particles that only interact with other standard model particles through the Higgs boson. According to Lichen's estimates, the universe will face a catastrophic event many tens of billions of years from now, when a bubble produced from quantum fluctuations from some sort of parallel world with a lower energy state appears in ours, expanding and eventually destroying us. He added that it happened at the speed of light. Even more intriguing, his calculations raised a philosophical dilemma, leading him to ask if the state of our universe has a role in the formation of stars, galaxies, planets, matter, and ultimately, life. As previously stated, many uncertainties remain concerning the nature of the Higgs-like particle identified at CERN. As a result, an official confirmation of their findings will not be disclosed until they are certain. That is, as certain as they can be given the nature of physics. In addition to the Large Hadron Collider being out of action for the next two years for equipment upgrades, there is still a lot of data to go through. Regardless, many theoretical physicists believe the Higgs isn't the end of the road for humanity. It's a large cosmos, 
and we haven't even started untangling the tablets left for us to figure out how, not why, the universe exists as it does. With that, we have come to the end of our video. This universe is extremely vast. If the big slurp is really our end, maybe it can still be avoided. Maybe in all these years, a new planet far, far away could be discovered that might save us from the slurp. What do you think about this? Is it really going to be an end for us? Share your views in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the daily updates on upcoming space videos. Until then, have a great day and thank you for watching.